Hello and welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival. It's Hockey SMC. And I thought I would show off. I've been working on it for about two days. Um, it's my first actual free build. Well, decent free build. Decent still remains to be seen. Um, let me know if you think I should add it to the workshop. It's not your normal CV built to harvest and you know, fly around the galaxy and the cosmos and everything per se. It is designed, I call it's basically designed after the B-52H slash I model, if you've ever read the book, the Old Dog series by Dale Brown, one of my favorite series. This is my rendition of the Old Dog, which was a experimental, technically a B-52H modified, heavily modified, um, I call this the HX, though in the book I think they call it like an I model or something like that. Uh, it's been a while. But I figured I would take you on a brief tour while it's dark. We'll go over the insides and once the sun looks like it's coming up here, we will go ahead and take care of the outside and take her on a test flight. I've only briefly flown her. I am in creative mode, so there really isn't much to worry about. This is update 9.0. Still kind of getting used to the uh, uh, amount of mass that you're allowed to carry, build, weight uh, restrictions as far as like thrusters and stuff like this. This is built on a small planet. I think it's like a 0.9 uh, gravity. So I haven't tested this on a higher gravity planet yet, so I may end up having to add more thrusters to it. This is a base model. You can add more turrets. You can add, you know, more thrusters. Do what you need to do to fit your builds. Basically, as a interstellar strategic bomber, we're going to be attempting to basically fly over target. I'll show you the turrets and stuff. I'll get her up off the ground so the turrets come out for easier. View. This is the cockpit. So you have your pilot co pilot stations. Both can be manned to fly. Just have a random other co pilot navigator here. Nothing much. You have passenger seating. These lockers can be used to store stuff. Come down here to the bomber navigator's position. You have a seat for your bomber nav bomber deer, excuse me. And your navigator, you know, can sit here and assist, but they can't actually. I think they can actually view outside. Let me see. Yeah, so they can view outside and help you navigate, but they can't actually fly the vessel like you can here. You can actually pilot from here. You got another assistant navigator, as long range would have it. I went ahead and added bedding, you know, a little bit of. Uh, aesthetics. You come back up here. Of course you have your entryway and if you didn't notice the bottom of the bomber is very very thick. It's designed to fly over a target and aggress it that way. So it's very thick. Come down here at the thinnest I think it's two to three blocks thick combat steel. The core is embedded in a tub of xeno blocks that are designed to withstand strikes from the bottom. Again, you can add turrets to be able to engage things that come above you. Um, <coughs> it is designed with a full surface, not like the half box and stuff. So that you can actually place turrets on top. It's got a massive amount. I'll take you around the outside. So more crew seating in case you need to bring, you know, people to commandeer bases, oxygen station two fridges. There is no food processor. The idea is to already have your food in here and usable. So more crew seating. This would be your weapon system operation or WISO stations. You have your, of course, med bays and clone bays, armor locker. You do have a repair station, more lockers to stow, more bedding. You come back here to the DSOs station there is you can actually fly it from here as well it is fairly well armored so this would be your defense 
hunters. I would imagine you would take the bombardier, and if you have, I don't remember if you have to <coughs> actually manually control the uh, artillery turrets that I'll show you. Um, but if you do, you can actually control them from here and from the bombardier station. So, and I'll you can set them up so you know if you have station one, station two. Uh, or you know artillery one artillery two there's two of them one person can control one the other person can control the other um, that's basics you know shower and what they would call a honey bucket on a b52 it's there I didn't do a lot you know with colors inside you can do that to your taste For me you know military it, everything's just <laughs> inside anyways Okay, so hopefully it's bright enough outside. Let's look out the windows. It's it's getting there, so we'll go ahead and hop back out here real quick and go along the outside. Nice thing about creative mode is you can actually turn on your jetpack and fly around to give you an overall idea of the size of this thing. I mean, comparatively, you know, I do have some other workshop stuff here. See, I've got a Forcha Klingon battle cruiser. Over there, what do I got over there? I believe is a Provident, not the Providence, the uh, Revenant. I do like that one too. She's a little slow, but she's very tanky. And another one I'm still working on checking out is the Triglav Assault Cruiser. I haven't actually, I dropped it in to see what it looked like, but I haven't done anything with it otherwise. But it's not the greatest. I wanted the wings to be a little thicker. I might go and redo those later. Just trying to get them the same size was a bit of a pain. You see I've done her matte black as a radar absorbent and night bomber. Just like the old dog was. Instead of spreading out the four engines, I went ahead just for aesthetics and put them together like you would have the traditional engine pods. I'd imagine I would build this thing about three times the size to fit the right size on the engines, but again, with the Update 9, it's a little rough because of how heavy this thing is with all, all the armor in it is just ridiculous, but these are actually enough to get it going pretty much max speed. There's plenty of thrusters and whatnot built into various parts of it. Not a lot to see on the outside. The one thing I will show you, I do have like, marker lights you can see and landing lights which can actually be turned off individually but I have four on each side of controllable rocket turrets and then on the front you have six pulse laser turrets that can be player controlled as well from the pilot any of the pilot seats really um, normally you would have a second set of pods here but one thing the uh, I went with the rocket pods here. On the old dog, you would have um, a small, uh, what they call tacit rainbow uh, tactical nukes. You can strap to the underside their long range cruise missiles. You could put the M120 C Scorpions, also known as the AMRAM, the advanced medium range armed air to air missile. Um, the ones that you see on the F 15s, F 16s, F 18s nowadays um, would be mounted on a pod there. I went ahead and just hard pointed them on. Other than that, really not anything to see. I'm not really good with the uh, cur doing curvatures and stuff. Kind of gave it more of a B2 wing kind of look, but I think it looks nice. But you can mount, you know, whatever turret you need up here for defense. It is one to two layers thick up top. Not a whole lot. Um, the main thing is you want to expose as little of the top as possible because right you know along this area and all throughout some of the middle areas your warp drive your generators everything is top mounted or mounted in the center your gravity generators offline protection is all built in to the behind the uh, DSO station or above I, just, I don't know if I really gave you a good look um, so as you come up in here jetpack off here it's a little bit of a pain your primary fuel is all along here your oxygen however up in here I believe there's more 
Um, and actually above here, I think, oh, actually I think that's only one to two layers thick, but all behind here is more fuel, oxygen, the warp engine, everything is in there. So now it's bright enough, we'll just go ahead and hop in. Oops, come on. The only problem is not having jetpack on, so you do, 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 hop in here. I've got our view already pretty well set up so you can see. Um, well, actually, we'll leave those off for now, but get our thrusters cranked up. So you can see, she does take off very slowly. It's a 0.96, and so you will have to add more. One thing I have is the newer retractable landing gear so that you can you know, actually retract everything in. Still looks like a flying bus to me. I, I wanted to make her longer, but I just couldn't see a reason to. But I mean, she handles like a bomber. She's a little bit slower to turn. Nice thing is you can, you know, actually look like you're flying this thing. She is fairly maneuverable. So I can do all the you know, wonderful rolls, turns. It's pretty pretty good. As far as landing, I've actually thought about building an actual landing like pad, like runway. Um, oh, and there is actually a, a advanced constructor built into it already um, behind the engines and all the offline protection and everything. Oops, my, my hope I hit the right button there. So we're going to come down Ugh. She does land kind of hard, but she she will level out pretty good. Um, we'll just kind of do this. You can see this the skids when you come up, they fully retract into the pods on the side, which is nice. So they'll come out, and then you can chillax. I usually just turn the thrusters off, but as you can see, when you're flying around, you get about a little over an hour's worth of fuel, even for as much she uses it's not not bad at all it is a lot of fuel though it's probably about four I want to say two to four hundred uh, fuel cells per load which you know it's a bomber they take a lot of fuel uh, the only other thing that I wanted to do is the old H models had the quad 50 cal remote turret on the back and on the I'm model they actually use stinger air mines in the book series um, but again you can you know side mount some rear facing minigun turrets or something if you want the old 50 cal look or you can you know remove some of the blocks put you a, a pod back there with something in it uh, the only reason I didn't do like putting a rear mount of rocket launcher I think they would just look stupid they make this thing look <laughs> actually stupider than it already does now that I look at it more so go ahead and Cut the thrusters. Actually, we, I did want to do something. So we'll, we'll bring her up off the ground here. She's, she's got pretty good braking, so that's definitely a plus. <coughs> uh, I don't know where. I'm still getting used to this stupid thing. Do, do, do. Then cut our jetpack on because we're going to fall a little bit before we get up but everything is matte black as best as I could get it but if you look all under here I wanted the traditional bomb bay with hangar doors and stuff like that so you know they open and then the turrets drop out from them um, but just it was getting way too much so I just went ahead with the retractable underbelly so if you come here and you crank the turrets out and see they all come out Nicely. I think I should have. Let me see. I might turn those around because I don't like the way those come out. Now the doors are on the side there. They should be on the. Instead of. Uh, center line out. They should come out, you know, on the sides here. But still, you have. You have your turrets. You have six rocket launchers here to bombard targets with. The idea is to make a. You know, a mid mid-altitude pass, you know, try to stay out of POI gun range and just a 
completely obliterate all the gun placements or you know generators or whatever you set your targeting for but other than that you can see you know the total of eight rocket launchers and six pulse laser turrets in case you want to make strafing runs but other than that I mean she's she's pretty nice I do like her I can't wait to actually get her in live up uh, U9 and take her out and see how well she actually performs against the POIs. Get her on the ground. Go ahead and cut those off. And I do have set up where you have your blinking marker lights outside that you can shut them off and your landing lights can be turned off while still maintaining the inside lights from traditional battle red. But other than that, that's pretty much she's simple. She's built to go and hit. You can basically get an hour of flight. It's hard to do like anything more than because ships, you know, armored. They want to be. They're going to be massive and heavy. So, but let me know what you think. If I should go ahead and put this up on the workshop, or you know maybe some other ideas that I can add to it and whatnot, or other designs you want me to fail at, just go ahead and put those in the comments below, and I will see you next time, hopefully for a live run.